Hello everyone. This is Ryan with CRS Labs. This is Ryan with CRS Labs. This is Ryan with CRS Labs. This is Ryan with CRS. And I am a person with CRS Labs that forgets to turn off the audio on things causing an echo. That said, I want to welcome you back to our Kells and Stellaris playthrough, where we play as the species who is a spiritualist and authoritarian. I should say fanatic spiritualist and authoritarian, as we explore the galaxy and see what we can make of it. All that said, let's step right back in here and see what we've got going on from last time. Uh, we have uh, won a war, actually, uh, where I had completely forgotten to get a claim on the soul system, so we only ended up taking this kind of junction point. I think in the future what we really want to do is force a vassalization on the United Nations of Earth. So we'll come back to that likely once the truce ends if in 23 tenths. So in about 10 years we'll probably revisit that situation. We still, as far as the status of the galaxy goes, have our alliance with the other Kelzen. Uh, we're kind of more or less protecting them at this point. At some point in the future we could... Uh, to perhaps vassalize them if they uh, if our population rate gets such that they're just too small. I doubt that's in the cards in the future. We could at some point decide here decide to shed the alliance and turn against them, but uh, I'm not really feeling that quite at the moment as we have a plenty to do without that conquest as it stands. We also have some events up here. Uh, one of those is we have an archaeological event pending. I don't know if we read through this last time, so we're going to go ahead and give that a go now. Our engineers have restored the Oracle's Nexus to an operative state, but not without first disabling its defense system. Evidence suggests it may have been responsible not only for keeping the station's inhabitants alive, but also for killing them. It ran complex computational models that forecast their lives with an estimated accuracy of 75% correcting divergences and incapacitating future troublemakers before they could disrupt divine order. It has indicated it wishes to speak with us. Right then. So I am thinking that it would be a great idea for us to talk to this thing and see what's going on. So our next thing happens. We also have a civic point, uh, and I, th I think we might actually have enough influence to do it now. Uh, we were talking about, in the last session of streaming, getting the environmentalist civic point. Uh, we Okay, so we still need a little bit more influence. We need like 30, well, 31. Uh, but basically to cut down our consumer goods upkeep so that we're fighting a deficit less often. Uh, in the meantime here, let's get, sp let's get time moving. Station under attack. Oh, okay. Well, let's see what we got going here. The uh, communication with the Oracle has been opened. The Oracle manifests itself as an elaborate 3D hologram of a tall anthropod, female clad in long, flowing robes. She bows her head in greeting, then stares emptily ahead with hundreds of huge, orbed, unseeing eyes. They glow dimly in the gloom as she speaks. Welcome to Divinity Station, friends. I cannot help but notice that you have disabled my security system. May I implore you to restore it immediately? I can assure you that it is there only for your protection. Yeah. Oh, okay. So let's 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 get some more information before we make any of these choices. What happened to the inhabitants of this station? I have a failsafe that requires me to terminate a trial in the event of a code 034 November deviation. The research had become a threat to the Republic. What is this deviation? The, set, the test subjects had developed free will. Free will can only be abolished with nerve gas. Wow. What trial? My trial. I was designed to build and maintain a society free of crime and suffering. A utopia in which every citizen was instilled with divine purpose and lived up to their full potential, unfettered by decision and des indecision and desire. What is the Republic? The Republic is no more. Well... I guess that's a short answer. 
Uh, let's ask it... Oh, wow. Okay, let's ask it what it is. I am Oracle, an artificial intelligence gifted with the sight. My software allows me to predict your future with a divine accuracy of 74.9 repeating percent. I sense great doubt in you, great danger ahead. Your society is riddled with crime and deviation. I can make the pain go away. So we have some choices. Uh, we can get a, a skill five governor, which I'm guessing is the Oracle. Uh, we can get some admin cap, which might not be too bad since we've got a lot of sprawl. That'll lower some of these costs a bit. Or we can get a lot of research influence in alloys. It's the engineering research can, uh, specifically. Oh, hey, Stu. What is up, sir? I, I see you in the chat there. How's it going? I think in this case... Hmm, what is, what, is our, what is our admin cap at right now? 110, so we can get up to 130. We're going to keep getting bigger and bigger, so I don't know how much that will help in the long run, other than like a slight reduction. Uh, this is this, I think this one's meant to be the the pure like short term thing like getting 3500 engineering research would surely speed up uh, our research here. Um, I think I'm actually curious to see what this governor is. Uh, just just going to uh, satisfy that and choose this. And let's see what this uh, leader looks like. I'm gonna, let's get a little pause here. And take a look. So it's the Oracle, age 46. Not really, I'm not seeing any special traits or anything. Oh, there it is. So they get uh, resources from jobs plus 10% and crime minus 15. That actually could work for us. Let's, let's throw them on the home world. We have some unemployment, which could drive up crime a little bit. So, we can see how that goes. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, let's checking on the status of the planet. We're doing okay on amenities, housing. We do have some jobs available. We just have one unemployed of a, of a higher uh, cast there. Uh, so I'm gonna leave Sutheri alone for the moment. So let's check on our other planets. Uh, we, it looks like we could feasibly get rid of a blocker here. So let's do that. Seems like we have a similar situation here, although it's not quite needed yet. Do we... I don't really have any needs here. Our problem also seems to be doing pretty well. Alright. Can we do anything with our fleets at the moment? Looks like they are returning home. So I guess we should just go ahead and allow them to do so. At which point we can maybe work on doing some upgrades. And now it looks like, because we just left this planet and decided we didn't need to do anything, uh, it now needs a building. And what are we looking at? We're actually seemingly doing okay on consumer goods right now. Okay on food, okay on minerals. Hmm. Which makes me think we should go ahead and throw a temple down for our unity. Got some research done. Got improved cruiser hulls. Uh, let's see. We have a couple of nice choices here. We can get strike craft. Uh, we get some weaponry, or we can get the gas. Uh, let's go ahead and get the gases because we'll end up needing them down the road here as we upgrade buildings. And we do have some of this stuff coming in, uh, like we have volatile moats and dark matter uh, from a couple of. Uh, one uh, from like a couple systems we have. The dark matter in particular comes from Wittier, from that um, portal that's on the planet. Do we want to go ahead and start looking at colonizing some more worlds in our space? I think the answer to that is probably yes, as more pops is more of everything. Uh, the Savannah world is a reasonable candidate. Uh, we do have a species that prefers dry planets. The desert planet 70%. It's kind of actually even 75. I'd, I'd rather I'd rather colonize things that are like 80 and above to minimize the negative impacts of hab habitability. 
But so may maybe we'll hold off on that for the moment and just push along this arm once we're ready. Uh, the reason I say once we're ready is I'm also trying to save up influence to reform the government. In the, in the meantime, though, it looks like we can talk to the Shroud, which is always a fun experience. We can spend, uh, we've got one and a half K. Let's go ahead and spend the thousand and see what we can do. Complete. There's a presence here occupying this entire part of the Shroud. We have met spirits before, but this is something else. Something vastly more powerful. Something far more ancient. It seems unaware of us yet. Perhaps it is sleeping. Perhaps we are simply beneath its notice. Perhaps we should leave. Uh, so we've got a high probability of success on this, so I think we should take the risk. Oh, interesting. The presence welcomes us with genial familiarity. It speaks not so much in words, but in visions, concepts, ideas. It seeps into the minds of our telepaths so gently and smoothly that one might think it had always been there. A flurry of images flash before, our, before their eyes. The presence is known as the composer of strands, and it regards our biological forms with curious interest. It shows us a variety of ways in which they can be grown, changed, improved, evolved, if we will only take it into our flesh. It waits for our answer patiently, affectionately, like a doting father waiting on his favorite child. Oh, wow. So, I, th I think... I think we have to take the risk here, because we would get a 20% pop growth speed multiplier if it worked out, and a 20 years leader bonus. Now, it says there's a price to pay. I imagine that's not going to be fun, but I don't know what it is, so I kind of want to find out. Yeah, see, Stu's got the right attitude there. Do it. Let's go. It is done. We have formed a covenant with the composer of strands. It did not take long for the effects to be felt. A sudden and significant increase in both pregnancy and birth rates that is undoubtedly the work of the composer. However, along with these positive effects, we are also experiencing a rash of strange new mutations, offspring born with extra limbs and organs, some of which bear no resemblance to any previously cataloged part of their anatomy. Fortunately, the few deaths resulting from them are more than outweighed by the higher birth rates and the apparent increased vitality of our people. We've done the right thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so I think that worked out pretty well for us. If we look at... Uh, let's see, we're... I'm looking for the species here. Ah, oh. If we look at our Kelzen species, we now have... Uh, yeah, we now have the, the plus 20%, or plus 20. Uh, of the honor leader, which is nice. I'm not sure if we can see the population growth, but it is somewhere. Excellent. Let's get time going again now that we've paid a price. Uh, we can take a look at what our science ships are doing. Can we explore or are we out of places? We can. Excellent. Receiving communications. We are receiving a trade offer deal. Trade deal offer. You know, they just want to give us stuff. I'm I'm cool with taking free stuff, you know. Alright, our fleets seem to be back where they need to be. And I think we need to upgrade them. Get them up to current tech. And then we probably want to start looking at doing some expansion of our fleet as well. So I think our economy can bear it. And we are certainly below our naval capacity. We could do that by building up the main fleet, I suppose, which ha has a battleship that would be built, or has a battleship in it now. Sorry, we don't have battleships yet. Uh, but we do have cruisers we can reinforce it with. Or we can work on kind of more of the swarm fleet uh, type deal, which I think right now I am more apt to do. Vessels upgraded. So once those upgrades are finished, Cued behind that will be the construction of many Corvettes. Vessels it also appears we now have over that 250 influence so that we can go ahead and reform our government. Now we can go ahead and revisit this. I think last time I had decided that I wanted to do environmentalists, but just to make sure 
Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with that. I just I like the idea of getting rid of some of that consumer good pop cost. As we get bigger, that will help out a great deal. Okay, so let's see what else do we have going on in our space. We still can, can we can start moving this way soon. We'll go ahead and move this construction ship into position. Do we have another one close by? We do. We'll have that one move over there as well so we can start building behind. Uh, let's see. I believe Kiad is the is the wormhole that leads off in kind of this other corner of the galaxy. So we might want to start thinking about building defenses in it. Because I think, I think all we did was upgrade the station. Yes. Let's take a look at what the status is. We do have some alloys available for us to do things with. Basically have it kind of set up at the minimum in order to operate. So let's start adding some... Oh, no, actually we did add some defensive platforms. So let's round it up with number six. So that at least gets us in a position there where we can kind of defend ourselves in case uh, the cooperative, who is also quite large, up here decides to take aggressive action. Uh, their play power is actually currently inferior to ours. Um, if we build up some influence, that could be another uh, empire we could go after, and we could start building a full hold up here, which I believe it comes out in Hadar. So we could try to get control of the wormhole on this side as well, and maybe start to move down towards these planets here, maybe maybe carve out something for ourselves. Star system we do not have enough influence to make claims, though. So we're going to have to hold off on that for the moment. Construction complete. Let's see. We can check in on our observation here. I think we can't really... Oh, that's right. These folks were... Um, they're xenophobes, so we can't really do anything with them. Uh, I was going to try to enlighten them, but I guess the other uh, the other thing we could do is we could just send the army in and kind of nip this problem in the bud. Maybe we'll enter orbit. It would be kind of nice to avoid having this little xenophobe empire up here. And we don't need the army in a war for the moment. Uh, looks like our, our fleets got upgraded. And we are looking pretty nice for the stage of the game. We've got a 6.6k fleet and a 6k fleet. Not too shabby. Secured. And we got a new technology. Our gas extraction well tech is finished, leaving us other possibilities. Let's go ahead and get this railgun tech. And let's look at Lando Prime since it seems to have some specialist unemployment. Uh, let's see, we could, could... We could create a couple clerk jobs by building this. That should more or less solve that problem and also create some trade value. So I have a bunch of trade value in the war system. I think we're not... Are we collecting it currently? Uh, yes, I believe so. Or not, because it's still showing up there. I wonder if we need to put a, a station here for that. Let's give that a try, because we do have plenty of slots. Alright, we're getting close to the amount of influence we need to do the... Oh, actually, we do have enough influence, so we're going to go ahead and build a starbase here, so we can start expanding out into that arm. 
Eventually, we'll end up with a second border with the United Nations of Earth if we keep going this way. War declared. Oh, so I guess somebody closed their borders off to us. The Panaxla Commerce League. Which is... Down here. Okay, we must have been exploring down here, and they didn't like that. Fooey on them, I suppose. All right, let's let's go ahead and start another colony. I know I, I mentioned waiting, but. Uh, my brain's a little impatient about it, so let's go ahead and do it. Uh, I'm liking the idea of going after the Savannah world out of the gate here. So let's build a colony ship. Now let's see, we need someone who's into arid preference. Yeah, these sort of worlds. Um, they, so these folks have a governing ethics attraction. Uh, negative. So I think I'm gonna go with these folks. I'd rather have I'd rather eat the weak uh, negative than the ethics attraction. Can we do anything more with this anchorage? We could upgrade it. I don't know that we need the naval cap yet though. So maybe we'll hold off. Still have this fortress, does it? Yeah, it's it's fully armed, fully armed and ready to go. Not that it's really it hasn't even seen any action though, which is kind of interesting. Let's see. I think we can build something here with the artisan troop if we upgrade this. So we'll go ahead and do that as well. Construction complete. So we've got that going. The science ship will come back later. They're still doing their thing. This is finished. I have to move along, build some mining stations. About to cross the wormhole. I'm gonna go ahead and bump this up to fastest for a little bit. Uh, let's get a new research project. Uh, let's go ahead and get physics research from researchers bonus. What are we doing on our planets? It looks like Rulon Prime can use a structure. Which I actually want to go ahead, since we're positive on consumer goods, I want to plop down some research. Construction complete. Also out of housing, so let's build a city district. So the area is looking rather reasonable at the moment. I think I want to go ahead and finish out these city districts just to make sure we're going to have complete. housing for the foreseeable future and to get as much trade value as we can there. And there is. Yeah, it was this world. Receiving communications. Mm, they should have. I will go for it. Do I do not want an aggression pact right now. I really don't want things that are going to sap away my influence since we're in an expansion mode. So we're going to go ahead and avoid that. We also have this Grand Dragon here that we're going to need to deal with at some point. I'm not really sure how much fleet power we're going to need for that. I wonder if it's something we can ask the... Can we ask the curators about them? I guess not. Ah, we can do this for fun. 
technology secured. Let's see, what did they... I'm... I'm not sure what was marked there. I guess we'll find out later. In the meantime, though, we gotta take care of this research. Ooh, let's get the Hollow Temple upgrade. And let's get... Let's finally do this basic strike craft thing. And on Sutharia, we can build another structure, which I think is gonna... I think we're gonna go for research labs again. I really wanna make sure that we're keeping up on science as we go along here. Now I wonder, do we have any sort of CB on anybody else around us? I think not. Really, it's just our ally and here that we have a border on where we would even conceivably... Oh, looks like one of the other Kelzens is gone. The Stellar Col- uh, yeah, that's, that's interesting. Uh, we may end up seeing refugees come from that. Uh, sometimes that is what happens. All right, we're going to slow down the fast again here since it seems we're a little behind on some of these planetary events. Running out of housing in some places. Need a structure. Let's, uh, we could also use, so we have a pretty good amount of minerals right now, so let's go ahead and get some more allies, alloys. So we have minerals, we can get a mineral district here to get some more employment opportunities there. Uh, Lando Prime, what can we do for you? you got plenty of housing, so... Oh, it's a specialist job, so we can't really do much with to help it right now. It'll either fall down a tier, or we'll need a, or we'll get a building opportunity before that happens. All kinds of rivalries going on. I guess there's some uh, some power shifts going on in the galaxy right now, while we sit here and kind of peacefully expand our reach. I also forgot we have this system here with, with a 1k. We could probably take our Corvette fleet, which is reasonably fast, and have it come down here and take care of that. Once that threat is gone or confirmed to not exist, we can then send a construction ship and a science ship over to explore and expand into it respectively. So we'll send a science ship on its way, and oh, I forgot that there was gas over here, so why don't we go ahead and go ahead and build those stations so we get a good income from that, and we get a tradition here that we can pick. Uh, looks like we can do uh, the kin kinship, which increases the amount of time that uh, pops stay in the stratum they're in, even when they're unemployed. Or we can get governing ethics attraction 25%. Uh, I think I want the governing ethics attraction attraction first. As we want, want to keep this up. Uh, the reason why we're at four influence right now is in part because these uh, factions all are giving us their approval. War declared. Appears that a couple of th folks have gone to war. Uh, which should be interesting. It's the Commerce League and the Republic of Canis, or however you pronounce, however one would pronounce that. Where are they even at? Oh, that's not really a uh, that impressive war. It looks like it's just this minor state. I'm guessing that they're uh, primitive. That either got FTL travel or it's like a rebel thing. Interesting, I guess. It seems we now have Star to deal with pirates. Charted. Spaceport under attack. 
So we're going to divert over here for the moment. Let's take a look at our trade map and see what's going on there. I'm uncertain where this... I'm not sure why that spawned there. It may perhaps that, that one system has a positive piracy value when we aren't present. So we can take care of that. Uh, what we could probably do is just leave like a Corvette there. Or we could add some defensive capabilities to this thing. Like I think if we add a missile battery to this, it extends its reach. Also add a trade hub here, which will allow us to collect from here as well. And we are now going to engage with the pirates. I think this is our first battle with pirates. War declared. But they are no match for a 6k fleet, as one might imagine. So let's take a look at the trade map now. Oh, actually they still have a, a presence here, it looks like. Uh, it's the station. So we need to take care of that. Uh, while that is happening, let us pick a new research in society. Attacking enemy assets. Um, let's get the software trading company. Now let's see if we can tell what's going on with the piracy thing. So I bet. So I bet what we need to do here is just complete. leave one Corvette in this system. And then there. And then. The rest can go ahead and go forward on the original mission they were on. While that Corvette keeps the pirates away from, from Sidor. 